Hey guys, what is going on? Dylan here. Today what I have for you is the third week in the Embaru engine, the navigation test. First and foremost, head to the Altars of Summoning. You're going to want to head to the northmost arena, and you're going to want to shoot that crystal that that statue has been holding this entire time. The random session that I joined, they had already shot it, so basically just jump up to where the crystal was and grab that card. Don't forget to head to the helm and claim the card before going to the Embaru engine. Before we get into the navigation test, let's do a quick recap on both the cunning test and the strength test. Upon starting the first test, you will have two chests in front of you with two symbols. Symbols I call Jellyfish and Spider. For this, just remember Spider good, Jellyfish bad, Jellyfish stings. Open the chest with the Spider Symbols plate pointing to that chest. Next, it will show you three more chests with two Spider Symbols, showing you that sometimes these symbols will be on the wall near the chest. After that, the whole room will fill with chests and you will need to open three to advance. These you'll just have to search for as it is randomized every single run. Just make sure you are opening the chest the plate is pointing to. Next, we have the strength test. This test does not change and is the same every time you do it. Head up to the deep site here to reveal the starting plate. It will always be this knight here. Kill the knight and pay attention to where that plate is pointing. Kill the enemy on the next plate and you just rinse and repeat. When you get to a cursed thrall, this simply means you skip the next plate and kill the enemy on the plate that that one that you skipped is pointing to. Okay, finally the navigation test. Once you start the test, you will see a bunch of doors surrounded by different elements similar to the secrets in 7th Inspire. If you simply shoot a plate, the door will appear allowing you to go through. But you need to go through the correct door or else you will die. So how do you know which door to go through? If you turn around and use the door that you entered through for reference, you will see a plate and an element on a side of a door. For example, the first plate is on the left side of the door and it's arc. Only one set of symbols is lined up with arc to the left of the door. So shoot it and go through. Next, solar will be above the door. Shoot the only door with solar above and go through. Third, a void symbol will appear on the right of the door, but now a bunch of symbols will spawn in front of the right symbol covering it up. So position yourself in a way that you can see the true emblem hiding behind. Shoot that symbol and head through the door. Finally, a bunch of symbols will spawn in the center of the room. The trick here is to position yourself on these elevated platforms th so that the symbols surround the door. You're wanting to shoot the solar on the right side, shoot the appropriate symbol opening the correct door, head through, and that is the navigation test complete. We only have one more secret remaining in Season 22, which I'm still holding out to hope that it's some sort of exotic, though I'm becoming doubtful. Either way, I'll be back next week for whatever that secret is. I hope this helped you all out, and if it did, leave a like, consider subscribing, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye!